reflecting on 35 years of ministry, all the highs, all the soaring, all the amazing things God has done, here's a fact. My husband, Robert Patterson, has been the wind beneath my wings. We will celebrate 40 years of marriage on June 16th, and I just happened to have some photos of us. <laughs> this is us when I got my doctorate degree. He is there right beside me, smiling, saying, I'm glad that's over. Uh, this is him beside me in one of the churches I serve. This is at Highland Hills United Methodist Church. He has been the rock. He has been my calm. He has been the one to bounce ideas off of. He's the one that encouraged me when I wanted to give up. And yes, <laughs> that did happen many times. <laughs> but he's the one that said, no, God has called you. God is with you. Do not be discouraged. Keep going on. So he is the one I want to celebrate on this video as the one that made it happen. We enjoyed a trip to uh, Washington, our children and our grandchildren, a family, uh, to Washington, D.C. last fall, and we visited the National United Methodist Church building. And the whole idea of this, too, was to help educate some of our children about what D.C. looks like and what it's supposed to be looking like. We were given a tour and a poster, and I have this baby right here can you see this? Okay. Okay. It. Um, you know, we started walking to the Supreme Court, and I took this and went there and said, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I'm, what their people are doing. <laughs> I just, I felt, I just, I, I just felt great and, I, and liberated. That was the word I was looking for. And we start. We had about a two mile walk back to the hotel and. Uh, I'm doing this and doing this and, and my, I don't know, it, I, it was kind of fun. It was an absolute blast. If you ever get a chance to go to D.C., go there. They are really nice people. So, My partnership with my wife, Sydney, she's been my partner in ministry and uh, has been invaluable as her love and support. None of it would have been possible. In addition, uh, my adult children, uh, now adult children, uh, Ryan, Jessica, and Jack, together we went where we were sent. We were sent from Meadowbrook to, in the Central Texas Conference, Meadowbrook to University, to Lake Worth, to First Mansfield, to First Hearst. And we were greatly appreciative. I got ordained in that conference in 1997. Bishop Odin brought me to North Texas, to First Dallas where we were able to spend 16 years. And then Bishop McKee and Reverend Paul Rasmussen brought me to Highland Park United Methodist, where I've been for 11 years. And I want to express my appreciation uh, to Paul for his leadership and for his friendship. So I love this picture. Um, you might notice the person standing with me is Brittany Melrose, who is the campus minister at Synergy Wesley. And uh, Brittany was an intern, but she was a student who came to be at the Denton Wesley Foundation while I was there. Um, but what's really fun about this picture is who's in the background. There's several uh, pastors that some of you may recognize. Um, they are people that are now in ministry from the Denton Wesley Foundation, but they're photobombing our picture. <laughs> which just showed the spirit of that community in so many different ways. So this is my clergy covenant group. We've been together for 26 years, and we've walked all the ministry walks together, family, and helped each other uh, baptize each other's children. We spent time um, even burying our parents. These are some of my journals over the years, and I don't know how many I have. I have stacks and stacks of them, but it's my way of talking to God in the mornings. And I found so important that um, to spend that time developing that relationship with God and feel that sense of God speaking and grounding me every day. And so um, I just brought these because uh, they tell story of years of um, entering into daily life. Some of them, well, even have pictures. Here's a little drawing. <laughs> um, but 
they, they were the conversation with God. And some of your names are in here uh, for prayers and um, hopes for your life together and the church. 